So, good day everybody. Welcome to our channel. We have a very interesting trip to Manila this morning. We have to go to the NBI clearance office. I wanted to get my NBI clearance. That's the National Bureau of Investigation. For those who aren't familiar with it, because you need that when applying for a permanent residency visa. They need to make sure that you're not wanted by Interpol or, you know, any other law enforcement agencies, which is fair enough. Didn't get my MBI clearance because I didn't get past stage one. And that was the filling in of the online form. That's obviously how they weed out the, the dummies. Well, I'm a dummy, apparently. The first three fields on the application form when you fill in your information is first name with a box, middle name with a box, now I'm foreign remember, and surname with a box. So what did I do? I put my first name in the first name text field, my middle name in the middle name text field, and my surname in the surname text field. Wrong. You have to fill it out like you're a Filipino. Your middle name is your grandfather, mother's, aunt, sister's, husband's, wife's, brother's, uncle's, cousin's surname or something like that. My foreign middle name goes immediately after my first name in the first name text box. I do wish they'd had a qualifier on their website stating that. If you're a foreigner and or not a Filipino, your middle name goes in the first name text box, immediately following your first name. So they could not process anything, nothing. Now, mind you, we, we got there at 6.45 and at, I think it was about 7.30, the lady turned up. We, we got into the priority queue because I'm a senior. Got it, the lady turned up about, I don't know, quarter past seven. Proceeded to boot up her computer. Then went away. And came back. She'd obviously been in the staff room drinking coffee. She was chatting to the man next to her. And she went away again, back into the staff room. I didn't know what was going on. We found out later on that the system, the system wasn't logging in. So we just had to wait. So we had got there at 6.45. At around about 8.30, she finally called us over. And she said, um, okay, here's the problem. She said, you'll have to go away and reapply. So guess where I'm going next Monday? I filled out the form according to her specifications. So if it's wrong again, I'm going to ask if I can fill out a new application and see, be seen immediately on one of their computers. Having failed at getting my MBI clearance, for the third time, mind you. The first time, um, we went, I filled out my application online, as, as you do. It's the only way you can fill out your application. <coughs> and it said, choose your NBI office. So we thought, okay, we'll build it. Robinson, Pala Pala. It's just like eight minutes down the road. Why wouldn't you? And we get there and we discovered another omission off the website. And that was, it should have stated on the website, oh, you're a foreigner. You have to go to the head office in Manila. It's the only place they process foreign NBI clearances. Didn't say that on the website. So we had paid 155 pesos for that application. So I came home, or we came home that day, reapplied for another application. Mind you, this whole time, my information 
is incorrect because it's got my middle name in the middle name field and not in the first name field directly following my first name. Okay. But we didn't know this. Nothing had been said. So I came out, came home, filled out another um, schedule, paid another 155 pesos, and that was for Monday the, I think it was the 28th. And we went swimming on the 26th. And guess who caught the flu? Probably COVID, but don't tell anybody. Just keep it between us. So I had to not attend on the 28th. So that day I rescheduled again. Still no warning flag about my middle name on the website. It wouldn't have mattered anyway because you can't change it. You can edit your application form, edit your information, but you can't change the first name and the last name text boxes. They're locked. I can delete my middle name from the middle name one, but I have to add it to the first name text box. So anyway, none of this matters yet because we didn't know about this. So anyway, I rescheduled for today, which is the 4th of April. Is it still 2022 or is it 2028 now? I don't know. Lost track of time. So we rescheduled. Jen and Marshall, you know, Mercy's um, cousin Jen and her husband Marshall, they were good enough to give us a lift in right into the NBI office, right out front. Perfect. That's why we got there. We left here at 5.30. Got there at 6.45 or earlier, actually, 6.30 probably. So our trip, we're in there. Oh, this is going to be great. We'll be home by lunchtime. All done. And that's where the fun started. The only way it turns out to get your middle name in the same text box as your first name, which is the correct place for it to be, according to the Filipino, is to recreate a new account because you can't edit the first name and the last name too. And as it turned out, there was a couple of other um, text boxes that needed fixing as well, editing. They could have been edited in the previous application, but because I couldn't change my first name field, I had to recreate the whole thing again. So now we've booked for um, next Monday, which is the 11th. But in the meantime, we left there, went and had a coffee at, oh, somewhere. I don't know where, Max's, I think. It was the second worst cup of coffee I've ever had in my life. The worst being Starbucks. And then we went for a wander around Roselle Park. So thank you for watching. And we're going to have another crack at the NBI next week. See what happens. But in the meantime, I'm good. we also went to Roselle, Roselle Park. I had a look around the Roselle Park and the Chinese gardens. And I'm going to post a video about that later on once I've finished editing it. So, thanks for watching. See you all again next time. Uru.